Hey, what is going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo, C editor here at thecoalition.com, and I got a brand new unboxing and impressions video for you guys. We're gonna be taking a look at this package I just received from Boxu. This came all the way from Japan, so big shout outs to Boxu for sending this over to me. This basically is supposed to be an ensemble or a little collection of Japanese snacks and different types of foods and stuff. Now, I haven't opened it up. I actually just got it out of the plastics uh, wrapping that it came in when it arrived at my door. So it's gonna be the first time I'm looking at this stuff. So I'm looking forward to this. So let's pull this bad boy up. It says Boxu on the top. Looks pretty elegant with this packaging. Oh, it's got a little thing, happy snacking, share your Boxu experience for a chance to win a free box. That'd be kind of cool to get another box from these guys. It'd be pretty dope, I'm just saying. Okay, but let's see what's in here. We got the Moon Festival, September 19th, volume five. So obviously I'm late to the party. You can already see a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look at this, because I've never seen this. The Moon Festival. It looks like it's got a lot of snack stuff in here. I'm just skimming through it. Holiday rooted in reverence. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really let it read up on all this stuff again, because this is all new territory for me. Uh, you'll find in Boxu all the different types of snacks. We got the classic, tasting, and vegetarian. So the one that I have here that I know of, I got the classic. The Boxu Classic, which I'm guessing has all the different stuff that comes into this. So this should be neat to go through, but let's keep going through all this stuff. They got a little bit of some Let's Learn Japanese stuff, a lot of rabbits, you know, iconography. Uh, we got Mitsurashi Mochi, we got chocolate azuki beans. Uh, what is it? Scone barbecue flavor, uh, Usagi chocolate. Usagi, again, is the name of uh, one of the characters from Sailor Moon. So it's kind of funny, again, that's probably like, you know, double meaning and stuff. But look, it's a little little rabbit, you know, a little chocolate ball for, with a rabbit. That's pretty, pretty cute. But anyway, we got a whole bunch of other snacks here. I'm not going to go through every single one. You know, just looking at this stuff, discover Japan through the snacks. And it's got all this, like, history and information on different things that I'm pretty sure in some way is included in this box. The Rabbit on the Moon. So I'm guessing there's a lot more information, maybe some mythology here. Sounds pretty cool. Look at all this good food. See, like, some of this stuff, again, I really want to get to the stuff that shows how it makes it and all this stuff. Usagi song, okay, a lot of different things. We'll take a look at some of this other stuff later on. But now let's take a look at what's in this box. So we got Boxu here, uh, Box of Bodies, okay, a little extra, like, little index card of stuff, things. But let's look at all the stuff that comes in here. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Tea of the Full Moon. I'm actually going to try this tea later. I'm actually going to see what this is all about. We got a whole bunch of other stuff in here. And again, some of the things that I was just looking through now tells me exactly what certain stuff is. This looks like a little rice patty or a little seed patty, which looks pretty cool. It's got a little panda or at least a little bear on it. It's pretty cute. Got a whole bunch of stuff. We got, uh, was it Bombay? A whole lot of snacks in here, man. Look at this. Ofu, which I'm guessing you probably want to have this with beer. This says a little pepper. Simple, so it's probably got some spice, it's got some kick to it, and all that jazz. A lot of cool, neat little Japanese snacks in here. Again, I'm gonna have to go through specifically the manual, that, or the little kind of like little booklet, just to see what each one is individually, just to see it. Baked chocolate, oh, just basic baked top chocolate, that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have it with the tea that I got here, the Taruwaiken tea, or tea of full moon. And again, I can't read Japanese, but I'm gonna refer to all the other material. Here's the spicy stuff that we just saw beforehand. That was like mentioned there, the barbecue flavor, spicy stuff. And all these, again, I don't, I don't know what these are, but these look like they got kicked to them. Just look at the packaging, it's just like, it's just the flavor is just searing through the package, which is crazy. Uh, we got these looking, patty looking little things here. Again, not sure exactly what, what those are, but I'm gonna refer to each individual one eventually. Now, I'm not gonna try all these on the video here because we'd be here all day, but just looking at the stuff that comes into it, you know, just looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll try one of them. This right here looks like it's got something, maybe like a little bean thing or something going on. A little small package. It feels like there's like a couple of things inside of it, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm guessing these are the mochi that we just saw before in the little uh, reading material because they feel very squishy. <laughs> like overall, they're cold too, just like feeling them. They feel a little bit cold, but they're squishy. Uh, got this little egg dude. We got two of them. Actually, no, we got two or three of them. Look, it's got little drawings on there, a little egg thing. It's got a little bacon that he's wrapping himself with. That's actually kind of cute. Like little Japanese snacks and a little jokes and goofs and stuff. So these are the berries I'm guessing that we just saw beforehand in that material. Because usually like sometimes even here in the United States, berries will get packaged like this. I can see the little I guess little slits. I think these are berries. Yeah, or berries or they're like beans. Can't really tell because again, I get they feel a little bit tough, like a little bit hard, like they're not squishy or anything. So they could be dried. And these look like chips. A little bit looks like chips. But again, packaging is pretty, pretty interesting overall. And then finally, we got these, which I'm guessing is even more chips. 
that looks like, you know, you probably serve with some of these other like beans and things that come with it. And then obviously we got a couple little things in here, the little rabbits that were also part of that, the little mochi little rabbits that they got. They look like jawbreakers, like little tiny jawbreakers with little, I guess, you know, little designs on them. This is cute. The packaging on this is pretty damn cute. I wish that, you know, here in the United States, we had stuff like this that had this level of cuteness just in some of our snacks, you know, as far as like everyday things, not like, you know, niche stuff, but this is pretty cute overall. And then obviously there's nothing else more in here, but I'm gonna try out some of these snacks. Let me put some of them back because I'm not gonna try all of them right away, but there's a lot of stuff that comes in this boxu uh, package here. Let's just uh, put most of these back in here because again, I'm going to go through each one of these individually eventually. But as you can tell, you're getting a lot of different stuff in these snack uh, little boxes. Again, they're very similar to like a loot crate box, in my personal opinion, as far as, you know, the ensemble of stuff that you get it. Again, if you're into Japanese snacks or maybe you've gone to Japan beforehand and you've like probably tried some of these out, this is actually kind of cool for you, you know, to see what it is. Again, I'm really curious about this, but these look like spicy. And it's gonna have a lot of kick to it, but I'm definitely gonna try out this tea after I shoot this video because this, again, I like teas, so this sounds like it'd be really cool to have. But let's try out this big chocolate just to start off with something basic, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't wanna try anything too crazy and then have myself like coughing and wheezing because of the spice on stream, you know what I mean? Or not on stream, but on the video. But let's open this bad boy up. It's got big chocolate, it's got a little thing inside of it too. What's this? What's this? It says do not eat. Oh, I'm guessing like this is the preserve you know, moisture and other crazy stuff getting into it. But it has a little thing that says, do not eat. Make sure you do not eat this thing, okay? Do not do it to yourself. But anyway, let's try this out. Not gonna see me on stream. I'm gonna put this in my mouth, see how it is. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes pretty good. The chocolate tastes a little bit different than what I'm used to, but it's definitely obviously chocolate and sweet. And it reminds me a little bit of some of those snacks you get on the holidays or some of those cakes you get on the holidays. Kind of like an Intamins, a little bit. Like the best comparison I could put. But definitely pretty cool. And again, it breaks apart really easily. But I'm going to save some of this now as I eat it after I finish shooting this uh, video and drink with this tea because I definitely want to try this tea. I'll probably be giving some of my impressions on uh, what is that, my social media, on, on Twitter and on Instagram and stuff. But definitely, there is a lot of stuff coming with this package. So, anyway, just for the moment, you know, that's going to do it for the Boxu Classic little uh, box of Japanese uh, snacks and Japanese foods that you get here. Let me know what's up in the comment section down below. Tell me, do you guys enjoy this unboxing impressions? It's not gaming per se, but it is Japanese culture, anime culture related, you know, geek and otaku culture related. So it's different for you guys here in the unboxing impression series. But let me know what's up in the comment section down below. No, obviously, again, I'm all, so still eating this chocolate here. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the Coalition's YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy this stuff. Send me suggestions of other things you guys want us to feature in our series or stuff that you want us to take a look at, okay? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course, like I mentioned before. And I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out and stay epic. Everybody.